Hi, my name's Frank Valencic and welcome to our Advantage Property Market Update. Well, who would have thought that the autumn selling season would see more volume of auctions than the spring selling season? That's what's happened this year. There's been a large volume of auctions. Uh, it's been the biggest autumn for many, many years and actually surpassed the volume of last spring. Uh, so we've seen lots of auctions on, particularly in the middle suburbs of Melbourne. Uh, there's been some strong growth in Melbourne. Uh, we bought a property, McMahon Road Reservoir for a client just over eight months ago for 685,000 off market, an identical property just sold down the road under competition for 888,000. So we've got a delighted client there. Uh, there's been strong growth in Frankston over the last four years, a property we missed out on for an investor in Bandura Court. Uh, sold for 777,000. The property next door identical, uh, sold for only 417,000 back in 2013. So there's been some really, really solid growth um, across the Melbourne market. And now there are 120 suburbs with median house prices over a million dollars. And there is a changing of the guard. There's now 68 suburbs in the middle and outer areas that are basically over a million dollars with median price. This is a big change from only eight suburbs back in 2012. So Melbourne is definitely moving further outwards as affordability pushes buyers outwards. So what about first home buyers? Uh, luckily, they've now got stamp duty uh, concessions from the 1st of July, and also the federal government's given an opportunity to save up to 30,000 in a super saver account at reduced tax rates. Also, they're in an interest rate period, which is the lowest in history. Uh, the RBA hasn't been moving the cash rate, which has stayed at 1.5%. But the hardest thing that first home buyers have at the moment is saving up that first deposit. A recent study showed that it takes up to 10 years for a first home buyer to save a deposit and up to 40 years uh, in Sydney. So it's really, really hard for them to get into the marketplace uh, with those figures. Well, what about investors? Uh, most people buy one property um, if you're an investor, there's 73% of the market has bought one investment property. Not many people get to their second property, only 29%, and only uh, about 9% get to their third because a lot of them don't make the right investment decisions, buy the wrong property, and then can't use the equity to buy further properties. Our group block purchases keep getting great results. Uh, we recently had a client who sold in Malila Grove in Rosanna for 368,000. They purchased that property for 275,000 about 18 months ago. We also had some solid uh, returns on a property in Reservoir that was purchased for 290,000 two years ago, recently valued at 450,000, and also one in Ormond, which was uh, purchased for 408,000, recently valued around 600,000. Please don't hesitate to get on our website, check out our popular information about our buyer's advocate, uh, seller's advocate, property management owners corporation services, and our future group lock purchases. We'll see you next time.